I, I was talking about like the universal field of consciousness as kind of just like a, an assumption that you have to take into, you know, take on in order to do any useful work here. But then, yeah, the question remains. I mean, like the more fundamental question is like, why does that field exist to begin with? And uh, and I think uh, David Pierce's conception of zero ontology is very, very relevant here, um, which is that um, all of the properties of consciousness, sorry, all of the raw properties of consciousness, the basic properties of consciousness cancel each other out, just as all of the physical properties uh, and values cancel each other out. Like the total charge, electric charge in the universe is zero because for every electron there's a proton and, and things like that. Um, and I think like even those, you know, we think of it as mathematical. It's like, well, yes, if you excite the field in this way, there's going to be an excitation the opposite way that like if you put them together, they cancel out to something that is flat. It's like, okay, that just has to happen. There has to be, for every symmetry breaking operation in one direction, there's another one in the other direction. And uh, the universe is kind of this like commingling of the way, various ways in which you have broken the symmetry <laughs> of the field um, until maybe they all cancel each other out or don't. I mean, we, we don't know. But then the question is like, okay, but what is that field? And, and I think like if once you think that, okay, this is the field of consciousness and the different fields of physics are actually different qualias, different varieties of qualia, then I think like you can actually explore the question of why there is something rather than nothing in an experiential way. I mean, and, and I think like 5MEO DMT, I mean, to me is like the, the, the state of consciousness that makes this like the most accessible. Uh, although I think there's also some meditation practices that I haven't really gone deep into. Um, um, which one was one of them? I think, um, oh, Dog, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Dog, Dogshin? Um, Zogshin? Zogshin, yes. I think like that probably also is going to be very helpful for understanding the behavior of um, the field and how the quilia values cancel, cancel each other out. Um, and people report like, Kind of the thing that I'm talking about, 5-MeO DMT using jog jogshin. Uh, <laughs> I'm embarrassed by, I don't know the, how to pronounce this, but yeah. Um, they report the same thing, which is uh, they start experiencing a lot of like rainbows. Um, and then the rainbows kind of like turn into like very clean, pure, bright light. And then that becomes kind of like the void. And so there's kind of like, yeah, these like... Um, I would say like grades of like how many symmetry breaking operations there have been that goes from like pure consciousness to something like, oh yeah, very clean, pure, bright light to rainbows to then like form and like the lower densities of consciousness. And so in 5-MeO DMT, to, to, to give you an example, if you take like a certain dose, let's say like seven milligrams, eight milligrams or something like that, Oftentimes you experience kind of like all of the universe becoming kind of like a rainbow. Um, and then if you take a little higher dose, that rainbow, you look at it from a new angle where all of the colors kind of like cancel each other out. And then you get like clean, bright light. And it almost feels like at a higher level, you look at that from a new angle and they all cancel, that cancels out with black. <laughs> it's kind of like a, solving a Rubik's cube actually like it feels like like the ra the rainbow configuration is like a partially solved rubik's cube like like it's very ordered but you still have to do a couple more twists and and so yeah i mean the the symbol of qri is kind of like that that like you have um all of the possible colors and like yeah at the center they kind of like cancel out into like pure white or pure void um and I think that ultimately explains why there's something rather than nothing that like actually is kind of like the void has like different points of view. <laughs> and depending on how you look at the void, you get the different properties of consciousness, but they all cancel out 